it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Melbourne and I'm actually in the city walking down the quiet little Burke Street so I can show you another rock and roll legendary place dedicated to a awesome singer and for those who don't know I mean you'd be forgiven if you didn't even know this place existed because I know so many people who have no idea that this place is here so I've decided to document it for you so that if you are in the city of Melbourne uh, you can come and pay your respects. I'm talking about none other than Amphlett Lane named after Miss Chrissy Amphlett of the Divinals. singles which you all know like I touch myself and uh, boys in town and stuff like that pleasure and pain you all know who she is the divinals are like a classic legendary Australian band and so uh, the Melbourne uh, government or the Melbourne Council or whatever decided to name a street after her and so we are now in Amphlett Lane They have this memorial for her. She was always known for wearing a schoolgirl dress on stage. So here we have this awesome little drawing and this plaque in memory of Chrissy Hamlet. So this is very, very cool. I'm so stoked that the Melbourne Council, Melbourne Government, whatever, decided to do this because I like the fact when a city recognises its talent and uh, yeah, they definitely have here. So it's not a big memorial, you know, a nice statue of her would have been better, but alas, at least it's something. And she has a street named after her, which is very cool. There you go, not the most exciting of laneways but you can find this on Little Burke Street here in the city of Melbourne if you want to come and visit it. So yeah, why not? I only ever got to see the Divinals once and it was at the nightclub called Heaven Nightclub in Adelaide and she was playing with Joan Jett and the Black Hearts and it was awesome. I remember Joan Jett's set was incredible. I was blown away by it, you know, it's just awesome. And then the Divinals came out and I can tell you right now, Chrissy lit up the stage. Like she looked amazing and the whole show was amazing. Like, you know, she just lit up the stage. She was just incredible. She was such a charismatic front woman and she just, yeah, she had the crowd eating out of their hand. It was just one of the greatest shows. And, you know, at this time, I mean, obviously I liked the Divinals, but I wasn't a diehard fan. So that was something that came later and you know I ended up buying all their records and stuff so this would have been 1996 maybe 95 96 97 it was somewhere around then and uh, that was the time that I saw the vinyls I can't remember exactly when that tour was I used to have the tour poster and if I can find it I'll put it up here but if there's nothing there I couldn't find the poster but anyway thank you very much for watching look after yourselves take care of each other and uh yeah, come and visit Amphlet Lane. Pay your respects to one of the greatest front women in Australian rock history. Bye-bye.